out of the way. Yesterday? I did, yes. Those will pin as well. Alright, so far, so good. The technique is a little bit different than what we seen yesterday, even though it's a round fish, because of the texture of the fish flesh is a little bit more fragile, and also the bone are very small, so we're going to cut right through them. Cut like a V here. Now, if you want to remove the head, go right ahead. I'll do that too. It will... today <laughs> okay now when you have this you can see the bone right here I'm gonna line my knife right to that bone with a light degree angle and cut right through the bone right to the ribcage right on top of the bone okay now Bring the fish closer to the edge because your hands, you see this is the right angle, straight. See ya. If I use this position, I'm gonna leave some meat on it because I'm not even flat on the bone. So you need to bring this here. This way my hand is sitting off the table. This way I can have a better control over my fish. With my thumb, I will put them underneath this way. This get out of the way, I'm gonna cut it either. Okay? On the other side, I use this finger, but my hands always stay on the fish. Control, it's, it's about feeling, you will feel. If you don't leave your hands on the top flat, you only have one hand that's working and you get tendency to lift your hand this way, keep everything in line. Now put your knife right here. You hear it? I'm cutting right through the roof here. Now it's about feel. You don't have to look, you feel with the knife. I know I'm right on it, I can feel it. Let the knife that the words. That's it? Okay. I can't do it again, right? sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Now keep in mind the trout's a lot easier than the bass. And, and, the and be careful because of the bone, so yeah. you can easily, the only thing I, I cut is those bones right here to the ribcage. The rest I'm just driving over the top. And as you, as you go, you can feel it with the knife, and you know you're staying. If you feel zip, <laughs> you went through it. If you went in too, too, too easy, you went right into the, to the bone. So you want to keep your knife, that's why it's important to keep your knife straight. And lock it in without getting cramped, but you can only follow the bones. But if you tilt it too much afterwards, you may cut right through the bone. Now on the other side, same thing. Flat, up. Now the bone is here, right? Come in. Now, well, the problem is, is if you do that, it's not a big deal because there's no, no flesh underneath. But I'm gonna have to start from the other side. Well, why? Because I can't get the bone underneath without damaging the fish. So I'm going to get it from here. from the back, yes. like you did the trout in the first time. Yes. 
So not dealing with crowd on the other side, which is isn't any this better way for the crowd? Well, this is the best way for the trial because the flesh is very sensitive and will break a lot easier. But if you pour, and I will do the same thing with the salmon. Because as you pour on the flesh, you damage the flesh um, more than you would any other fish. So this is the reason why I use this technique for this fish. This and the salmon, I'll do it most of the time this way. The other fish, I'll do the other way. Now you want to cut part of the belly of a little bit, just to follow a line here. Yeah? See, it's not much. Give this a little bit. And and remove the rib cage by again, see your finger? They, they, they work together. I'm gonna push here and and get this right behind the bones. And I'm cutting towards my finger. You can see your knife through it. See? Nothing through it. Just the bones. It's just <coughs> now I'm gonna remove, you can leave it like it is, but there is all the fat here on the back. Remove that a little bit. Now it is has a slight angle here, so we we'll cut the tip. Slight angle. I will just just cut this in half, and we're gonna push this in the um, cold bouillon with a lot of uh, acidity, and you're gonna have it for lunch. Okay. Fresh to fresh. Fish are we playing for our practical? Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, you blow the fat from the fat, excuse me. So just the back, so you don't cut into the flesh. Uh, it's very important to have your knife sharp because that will help you, otherwise, you damage. Most of your fish, you have a nice clean cut. And again here, this, see, because the fish goes in a taper, I don't want to cut it straight, I just cut it in a taper as well, I don't know. Just, I don't think it makes a big difference, just, just for me. And the bone, see now, I'm starting from here because you're gonna feel those bones a lot better than to feel the one from the back. So I always start with the bone closer from the head. On, on the other fillet, it was easier because I started from here. This is a natural motion, so now I have to go backwards. But it's okay because this is what you, see it's easy to get your knife there and then you follow this slowly. See, I'm not cutting all the way through, I'm just getting the tip, and on the way back, just slowly. Remove the rest of it. See, those bones that are closer from the head are stronger than the ones from the middle part, so it's easy to start there. So no matter which side of the field I'm working on, I was gonna start from the bone near the head. And the other feeling they were there, so I started here. This is a natural, easy motion to do, so this, this seems to be easier. But this way you have to work your way backwards and then come back. That's what I find much practical. Look at this. And again, it's already cut an angle, just follow this. not hard, maybe too easy because uh, you, you can feel the bone because those bones are very small. One thing I forgot again, you need to remove those pin bones here, okay? But today, skip that process. But for uh, the practical, we're going to need to remove those because it's sticking out. You know what? Remove it. 
because if you don't today, you're probably going to forget to remove them there. Okay? So get the fish, get 15 minutes, and then we'll combine all the fish.